This morning, we are wrapping up Black History Month with our coverage. We know that St. Louis has the, are as the gateway to the West, thanks to Lewis and Clark, but there's another explorer who played a very important role in this journey. Yeah, our Sydney Stallworth is joining us from the Lewis and Clark Historic Site in Hartford, Illinois. And Sydney, there's another person out there that a lot of us may not know about. Rennie, Michelle, that's exactly right. There is an American pioneer who's often left out of this story. We're going to make sure he gets his recognition today. His name is York. He was William Clark's slave, and he's a big reason why everyone made it back from this two year journey alive. His blackness and his skill set was crucial to the, the survival of this expedition trip. Lewis and Clark, known as the explorers of the American West, but someone else who's every bit of an American pioneer is often overlooked. You have a man who's part of this military group that's not getting paid, that's not charged with a task, but he has to do the same thing. And he proves so useful on the expedition trip. York, slave and body servant to William Clark, helped keep his master and everyone else on the journey west alive. An expert hunter, master of military skills, and the main reason why Lewis and Clark were able to trade with the indigenous people living out in the Western Territory. He goes on this 70 mile trek to find one of the Shoshone tribes. His skin color becomes the connection to building trust, and his contributions don't go unnoticed. We kind of start to see the men accept him. He had untold freedoms going on this expedition trip. He voted for the first time. The expedition ends. What happens to York after that? There's this misconception that York receives his freedom once they get back. He does not. Everyone else on the expedition trip gets wealth, land, praise. But for York, it's back to the dark reality of American slavery as Clark forces him to stay in St. Louis. One year, York overstays a trip to Kentucky to visit his wife. As punishment, Clark sends him to a harsh slave master in the South. York is eventually freed, but questions swirl around what happened next. The sources can flit and we don't have a grave site for York. But we do know one thing. Every man was brought to the, ex the expedition trip for a reason. York was brought because he had to, but then he proved his usefulness throughout this two year journey. He changed America. He did, definitely. Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Now we do have limited information on York in the later years of his life, but historians do have a couple of theories on where he spent his last days once he was eventually freed from uh, slavery. Now in our next 15 minutes, we're going to hear those theories from our historian. But for now, reporting in Hartford, Illinois, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side.